This is how to set up the Kraken app, make your first deposit and trade on here. I've got my account set up already. If you don't, then you'll see this page. Now, download the app from your app store. I'll leave the official link to Kraken below in the description box. So if you click that, you can sign up very easily, but just press create account. Email and password is all you need. Now, Kraken will ask you to perform KYC when you sign up. That stands for know your customer. Kraken is a financial app, and so they have to take your ID details, so passport, driving license, ID card, and then you'll scan your face with your phone. They have to prove that it's you. Um, this is something that every crypto exchange has to do. Kraken are an OG exchange. They've been around a long time, so you do have to do that. It will take two seconds, and then once that's done, they'll let you into the app to trade. Kraken have recently added passkey authentication to their account. I would recommend this. This is a way of logging in with your biometrics on your device. So it creates a passkey, and it's basically crypto. So Kraken get the public key, you have the private key on your device. When anything important is done to the account, it's gonna ask you for two-factor authentication, and it's just gonna use your biometrics on your device to log in and prove that it's you. So you can add it here, you can see it's pushing me to do it at the top of the screen. Go down to account, down to security settings. You can enable pass keys, or if you have Google Authenticator or YubiKey or something else that you use, you can put that in here. There's a few different ways to deposit money into Kraken, but the fees are very, very different between them. So you can actually go ahead and buy crypto with a card using Apple Pay or Google Pay in the Kraken app, but the fees are super high, around two to 4% overall. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend that. You can also use PayPal as an option. The fees are around 1.75%, something like that. So again, very high. Or you can just send a bank transfer into Kraken's bank account, and that's probably gonna be the cheapest option. So in your portfolio, you wanna press deposit, and then it's just gonna ask you, well, what do you wanna deposit in? So we wanna deposit some fiat currency in. So these are the options, basically the G7 currencies, right? So if we press US dollar, where I live, I just have a uh, SWIFT account option. If you're in the States, I'm sure it has ACH or WIRE uh, that you can use as well. But for me, just SWIFT. And that means I'd have to use a SWIFT network, which would be the bank charging me maybe $20 to send it in, right? So maybe I'll go to pound sterling and you can see different options. So PayPal is an option. Actually, the fee is 2.4%. That's insane. Like, don't use that, right? Easy bank transfer. What this is going to do, it's going to link. You know when you go into like Wise or Revolut and you put some money in, it's going to open the banking app on your phone that you want it to open and link up all of the details and you just choose how much you send over. So easy bank transfer. Choose the bank that you have on your phone. I'll choose something that I don't uh, have just to show you. Bank of Scotland, uh, I want to deposit $1,000 in, preview. And you can see the details here. All of the details to Kraken's bank, that's all pre-confirmed. What you do when you swipe to confirm, it's going to open up your other app, confirm the details there in your banking app, and then send that transfer over. So that's super easy. So I would recommend that if that uh, option is available for you. If you're in the UK specifically, a lot of banks just don't let you deposit money into crypto uh, exchanges because, you know, capital controls and everything. So uh, manual bank transfer, this is just going to give you uh, Kraken's banking details, right? So uh, account number, sort code, uh, IBAN, whatever it is in your country, it will just show you everything here. Go over to your bank, make a withdrawal, put all the uh, details in, and that's that. Now, for me, where I live, I don't need a payment reference with the payment that I send into Kraken. I have an individual account that I can send to. In some countries, it may be an omnibus account and they give you a uh, refer, like a code that you put in as a payment reference. If you don't put that in, they don't know where it's coming from and they can't put it into your account. So make sure you have a payment reference if that is required when you send a deposit into Kraken. So they're the options. Basically a bank transfer is gonna be the best. Um, and if it's available for you, just go ahead and do that and put the money into Kraken. If you want to withdraw fiat currency from Kraken, go down to the withdraw option in your portfolio. So press withdraw. It's gonna give you the balances in your account. So I've got crypto here that I can withdraw or cash as they call it. So let's press this one, add new bank account details, and then whichever payment method you want them to use. And then it's gonna say, what's your account number, IBAN, SWIFT code, whatever it is, just put that in here. This has to be your bank account with your name, the same as the name that Kraken have on account with your ID details. So it has to be exactly the same, otherwise they won't send it. In some countries, they may ask you to prove ownership of that bank account first by getting you to send a deposit from that bank account into Kraken first to prove that you have ownership of it. And then once that's done, they can let you withdraw to it. Some countries may not ask for that. You're gonna to have to check that where you are. Just put your account details in. And then once that's done, you can make withdrawals of fiat currency to that account. Now I'll show you how to buy and sell on Kraken, although I would recommend when trading to use the Kraken Pro app. The trading fees are way cheaper. They start at 25 basis points, whereas Kraken, I think, starts at around 1%.
So I would just download Kraken Pro. It's a different app, but it's the same login. You get cheaper trading fees and a much better trading system. I'll show you that in a second. But we'll go down to the icon here and I'll just show you how this works. We can buy and sell. That means buying with cash and selling to cash. So buy Bitcoin and then it says, how much do you want to spend? So I'm going to press buy now, which is when we just take the best offer at the time and it buys the Bitcoin for us or the other crypto. Custom, this is when you choose the price that you want to trade at. So let's say Bitcoin's trading at $100,000 and we want to buy at 90,000. We can put our order in and wait for the market to bounce around and hopefully a seller comes in and matches us, but we may not trade straight away. So that's a, known as a limit order. So you can use that if you want, but you won't trade straight away if your price is too cheap, if you're buying. Recurring is when you set up, you know, dollar cost averaging. So you tell Kraken, buy once a week, you know, $20 worth and do that for me. I'll press buy now and then choose an amount. So you can see the fees here for Apple Pay. So if I press next, the fees are super high. Uh, the total is 20 pounds I'm spending. The fee is 1%, which is uh, one, one pound, which is 5%, which is insane, right? So don't do this. Right now, if you have a cash balance here that you sent in via bank transfer, the fees are going to be a lot lower, but they'll still be very, very high and higher than Kraken Pro. So you can do that and it'll buy the crypto for you. I wouldn't recommend it. You can go to trade again, sell. You can see I've got some Bitcoin here. So I'm going to press this and it's selling and it's going to sell in two pounds for me because that's my currency. So let's say 25%. It's going to say, here's uh, what you get for that. I'm going to press next. It shows me the amount, it shows me the fee. The fee's a lot lower because I'm not using Apple Pay or anything like that or a card network. But you can see the fee is still here and it is high. So you can do that if you want. Press that, swipe, and that will sell from the crypto into the fiat currency that you have. Then you can go back into your account. And like I said, go to portfolio. If you have the fiat currency there, press withdraw. You can withdraw it from your account. There's a convert feature as well if you want to trade one crypto for another. So press convert. I have some USDT in my account. You can see crypto here. So I'm gonna press that. Then I want to sw switch that USDT into BTC. So that is the amount that I'm selling of USDT and I'm uh, buying Bitcoin. You can see the approximate value here. Press next. It's going to confirm the order for you. You can see the trading fee as well. You can swipe to confirm that. That's how you trade one crypto for another. That is easy. However, I would use Kraken Pro because the trading fees are way cheaper. Go ahead and download the Kraken Pro app on your phone. Like I said, I'll leave the link below in the description. You click that, go ahead, either set up an account or just go ahead and download Kraken Pro. And then from here, you can see I've got the exact same balances. So what we can do is go to the middle icon and it takes us through to this page, which looks really complex, but I'll, I'll go through it quickly. So we go to Bitcoin up at the top, the logo here, and I want to search BTC Bitcoin. And you can see all of the trading pairs. I've got a trading pair against pound sterling, Swiss francs, euros, dollars. So choose whichever one you want. I'll choose dollars here to show you. And I want to press buy because I'm buying some Bitcoin. And I'll show you here. So what we're going to do is we're going to press this limit here. We're going to change this to market order. And then I'll show you $10 as a trade. So because we're using a market order, we are not choosing the price that we pay. We're just choosing the amount that we spend to buy the Bitcoin. So $10 worth. Because we aren't using a limit order, we pay estimated fee four cents. So 40 basis points is the trading fee. If I choose a limit order and I put my price in a little bit below the current price, something like that. What I'm doing now is I'm putting a limit order into, into the system and I'm uh, trying to trade at a price that can't currently trade. My price is a little bit too low. Kraken incentivized me to do this because they want a lot of activity on the order books. They want people to show their orders and put liquidity onto the order books. They incentivize me by giving me a cheaper trading fee. You can see the estimated fee now is uh, 2.5 cents, which is 25 basis points. So if you use limit orders on Kraken, you get cheaper trading fees. But either way, it's cheaper than the Kraken app. So I highly recommend it. From here, I'll just show you a market order and I can put this in and press buy BTC and it buys the Bitcoin. So you don't even have to look at this chart or anything else. Just go ahead and buy the BTC. If you want a really in-depth guide on how to use Kraken, I'll link that below in the description. You can have a watch, see how to buy and sell and everything, but that's how to get cheaper trading fees on Kraken. Once you've bought crypto, you may want to withdraw it into your own wallet, either in the Kraken app or the Kraken Pro app, go to withdraw, or you can just go to the crypto that you have in your portfolio. So I'll go to portfolio here, go down to the crypto that I have. I've got some Bitcoin like this. And then down at the bottom, I want to press withdraw. And it says, which network do you want to use? So I'm going to send Bitcoin to a wallet that I have on the Bitcoin network. We won't worry about these for now, but we'll press Bitcoin. And it says, well, where do you want to send it? So I want to select address. 
and I want to add an address and it tells me, okay, you want to add an address. I want to add a Bitcoin address and I've actually got an address copied in. So what I'm going to do is don't allow for now. You want to go over to which, whichever wallet that you have. If you have a wallet already, I'm sure you can get the address for it. So I'm going to go over to my trust wallet. This is my Bitcoin address right here. So I went to deposit some Bitcoin into my wallet. I can copy the address. So I've got the Bitcoin address that I want to send to. Now I'll go back to Kraken. Back in Kraken, I can now paste in my wallet address. And what Kraken are going to do is send that Bitcoin from my account into the wallet address that I put here. That can be my own self-custody wallet. It can be another exchange if I get the deposit address from the exchange or anywhere else. So that's how to withdraw assets from Kraken. If you want to know more about doing that, self-custody, how to set up wallets, I'll leave some other helpful videos down below. Plus the Kraken Pro video, highly recommend it because it's a better trading system and you get cheaper trading fees on there as well. And the Kraken link, if you haven't got an account yet, down in the description. I'm James, it's Money DG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.